Yo, what is up guys? We're gonna do a little bit of a different video today. We are going to visit my island in Animal Crossing New Horizons. This was like the go-to game for everyone during the pandemic. I literally played this game so much that I think I played every season from the time this came out up until, until Halloween. And then I think I loaded in for a second. Look, November 11th, 2021 at 8.35 p.m. was the last time I loaded this game. But anyways, I believe I had loaded in trying to um, catch some like the winter animals and I was just fed up. I was like, I don't feel like doing this. I like played the literal life out of this game. I'll have to check to see what my play time was um, on this. I think it's like 500 hours or less, but it's just the fact that I played so much. So get on out there, folks, and shake things up. I think it would be lovely to see some beautiful, some beautifully crafted fall-themed items pop up around the island. She says this as she has her cup of, um, tea. A Long Island iced tea, probably. But, you know, tea. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. My island is about to be a wreck. I think you can pay Nook to clean up the weeds, but... We're here now. I probably look a mess. Look, I got bedhead because I haven't played in so long. It's been like almost a year. Cleaned himself up. There's probably roaches in the house. I probably got mail that I have no room for. And then my my uh, in-game mom, who no one knows what they look like, has sent me a gift for my birthday. At least somebody remembered it was my birthday. And then I had two days. I had COVID two days after my birthday this year, so that was really fun. Do you remember when we first met? Of course not, silly. But it was on this very day. If that's not cause to celebrate, I don't know what it is. Happy birthday. Do I even have room for this gift? I'm about to find out. I'm scared to, like, look at anything. Alright, you're in for a tour. A literal grand tour. This is my house. Um, I forgot how you- No, no, I want to keep playing. How do you pull up your, uh, your- It's been so long. That's definitely not what I wanted to do. Uh, the map. I was trying to pull up the map. So this is a map of Time Rift. These are all the residents I have. I forgot how many you can have. One... Hopefully no one moved because I haven't played in so long and I had everyone I ever wanted. Um, it was mainly to have wolves. And then... What were we going for? I had Genji. I had all the wolves I wanted but then I wanted a mix. So I got Genji. I had Rung. I had Lucky. I had my favorite person, Lolly. Lolly the cat, and then my other favorite person out of all the wolves, personally, is Dobby. He's like grandpa of the island. Grandpa Dobby. Oh. But here we go. First, we're going to start with a tour of the house, because we're already at the house. I told you there was going to be roaches. So this is, uh, this is it. All the achievements and plaques, a clock, a Fish, spider webs. To the left, we have my dreamy cloud floor room with the the you know the soft aesthetic musical vibes with the masks on the wall, um, the Kitsune or fox masks. I got my Nintendo Switch. I got my little my little gaming setup. I just don't own a. Uh, Oh, I forgot people can just come into your house. Freya, Esquire, if you're in, do please come out. Come to the door. Oh, okay. I forgot they added this feature. I must have stopped playing before they, before they finally made it to where people could come visit you. And she did not hesitate. Um, coming, Freya. Maybe Freya wants to go for the grand tour. Thank you so much for having me. What's up? Well, surprised to see me? You see, I believe an unexpected visit can be refreshing now and then. You got a sweater on? It's, I mean, it's not yet fall, but I think we still got like four more days, but whatever. 
it is. This was a work in progress, and I don't remember what I was trying to do, but this is as far as I got with the bathroom. The aesthetic is a little ugly, but, um, you know, got this, uh, this beautiful beast here in my diving travels. Um, you know, you got the, the, the fancy, um, what is it, uh, God, what is this, Taurus? Yeah. And then we got the, the hot tub action, you know, after a long, cold day of working on the island. Alright, we gotta go to the right. Also, the theme for this room, there's a couple different things. Um, because if I were to, to own a house, which I'm too broke to do, um, I wanted, I always wanted a library. It's just a, a room just full of books. And obviously I want to be able to read all those books, but that was a lofty dream. Also, the other inspiration behind this was when... In Final Fantasy 7, when you go back to the Shinra mansion in the Belheim, and Sephiroth's like, he throws the materia at you, and as lovely as this has been, I should get back to the real life for a while. This was wonderful. All you did was walk around, we didn't even talk. But I'll see you later. We found Freya, so, well Freya found us. One less person to introduce you to on the island. This was gonna be my bar. A little bar that I got here with a, what is it, a one anniversary cake? Um, half the, like, vibe of even just wanting to build a bar was because of, um, the 7th Heaven bar in Final Fantasy VII and the Seven Remake. I was, uh, post-inspired by that game. There's the, the Halloween guy, is it Jack? I don't remember his name exactly, but... I got all the, the island homies pictures. I'm missing a couple people, but that's most of the, the islanders. You know, I, Adi and Grandpa Dobby, Genji, the whole squad. This room was just one big musical room with all of the jams. Um, the plan was to cover the entire wall in... And, um, music. Anytime I got like, a new track, it was gonna go on the wall. And the collection was going pretty solid. I know there's probably still some I'm missing, but it's looking pretty good. Alright, time for a tour of the island. And I've worked on this island a lot. Check all this out. Bam. Beautiful. At all times. You can jump on over here. Hey, look, there's Adi. Uh, how do you wave to people? I don't remember how to do stuff, Adi. I haven't played in so long. We got my little Mar my little mini Mario set up. I got houses over here and weeds. We got our homie Vivian. Oh my. Esquire, when was the last time I saw you? It's been four. Ever, darling. Returning home after so long. You must have so many things you want to do. Well, enjoy Time Rift. I mean, I built it, but thank you, I will. Anyways, continuing the tour. Look at this. Look at this area, this little hangout area. Continuing the Mario tour. Look, we got lights. I got these lights set up everywhere. The little lanterns. I love them. You just want to come and sit down with a friend and enjoy a, a cup of tea to the with the soothing sounds of the waterfall right next to you. Beautiful sight to behold. We got the fire flower chilling. We got more Mario items. Look at that. Look at that bam. Well complete. And then you can see uh, Mr. Fraudulent uh, Foxy Boy when he rolls up in his little pirate ship little secret back way on the island. What do you know about that, huh? Rocket Man. We got the little, uh, little outdoor seaside setup. You know, I made a lot of little chill spots on the island. You know, you got the, you had the tea shop up top. You got the little coastal view at night. And then I was so inspired to want like a bamboo setup on my island, which we have here. Do I have those? Like, that's that's literally not what I wanted. I'm gonna catch you, I think. 
Nope, I missed both of them. That's what happens when you don't play for a long time. Your timing is off. And then one of my favorite pieces that I decorated and put together. The little, uh, what I like to call the, the town center. This is, uh, you have so many ways you can go from here. I got, uh, waterfalls and butterfly models going all the way up top. We got our little decorated lanterns thrown in. You know, the telephone booth just in case you need to make a call because they actually don't exist in the real world anymore. Rest in peace to old technology. This area is a full mess. There's weeds everywhere that I'm not gonna pick up. Bam. Look at that. Aesthetic shot right there. That's what we were going for. Um, I like, I like the idea of, of having an, an up top like decorated area that no one could reach, but you could just admire. So that's why I built that top area like the way I did. And then uh, if you don't recognize the, the little the little sign on the ground, it's supposed to be like the little sauna rest point. Like in Death Stranding, so you know when when you've been doing your FedEx delivery packages and dealing with BTs, you and BB could just go and chill and vibe out and and get away from the game. So that was the inspiration behind this area. And I forgot I put this here, but man, did that work out nicely. My island is environmentally friendly because it runs completely on satellites. And then I had the Bale of Hay here to pay homage to Assassin's Creed. Um, you know, if you, could, if you actually could jump off the top of the cliff. And then the weeds here are left on purpose because it's where we spot and find our UFOs. I left this here so when I was crafting out and about in the earlier days of this game, I didn't have to go all the way back to the entrance all the time. Bam, another archway. I was a fan of having archways put in almost every uh, little sectional area that I built. Had this set up here with the rock on purpose so you can trap yourself and, you know, have at it, knocking coins out of it. Look at that. You got the aesthetic in the background. Look at that, that draw distance or that, that depth of field for all the items I set up in the back. I was trying to make it so no matter where you were in the island, there was always something aesthetically pleasing to see. Uh, this area would always change. I would theme it out based on the time of year it was. We got the decked out, built out museum. Um, I saw other people who did their museums and I still feel that theirs was way cooler than mine. You know, when the sun's out, gun's out, you can get catch some sun rays at the, uh, god I forgot what this thing is called, but I think it holds like grain or something like that. Uh, look at that, another little, uh, little aesthetic piece to the island that I forgot about. The little campsite, we got the rock wall, we got where you can camp out. I placed it here so, you know, we had guest villagers, they could come, you know, enjoy the camping vibe, so even if I didn't take them into town, they still had a place to come kick it at. Got the Able Sisters, you know, when you leave the shop, pop a quarter in, to ride the horse and you fall off and smack your face in the ground and you cry about it later. We've got uh, Nook's Cranny, you know, park your bike, roll up, purchase something in the shop and dip out. Hey, what you vibing to I hear? The this is my favorite cat, by the way. And I made sure that his catchphrase was sucker. Ooh, look at that. This is my, um, Assassin's Creed flag. I think this is when, this had to have been when, like, Valhalla was first announced. Oops, my bad. <laughs> Smack the holy hell out of her. Okay, I built a little, you know, beachside area so some of my islanders could enjoy the finer things. Come on down to like the archaeological dig site. Got a whole pyramid that was buried here and fossils, and you can even have time to fish. I guess we could take a detour and, and visit some of these fine folk. Hey, looking sharp, my man, Wolfgang. 
Anyway, I'll let you wander. I got a pretty important nap schedule later. I gotta get ready for it. Bro, you might as well be getting ready for bedtime. It's 6.29 p.m. Who's next? I like made everyone their own little gardens. I was, I'm telling you, man, I was deep in it. Oh, look at that, two for one. Hey, it's Esquire, I haven't seen you in a long time. You're still the same old me. I know for sure because I wrote my name in all of my underwear. Proud of you, Lucky. Hey, Kyle, Keel. Whoa, did I eat some bad shrimp gumbo or is that Sunflower in the flesh? You gave me the nickname Sunflower? Why? On the Grand Island tour of Time Rift. Time Rift was also inspired by Death Stranding. Because of the rain. A crypto buy of the day keeps the time fall away. Look at that, look at that. So we got the surf shop, we got a place where you can change, we grab a board, go surfing. These little mini book libraries where you can leave a book and take a book. Hey bud, we say honey all the time, right? I've been thinking, would that phrase work as, you know, the title for my debut album? What debut album? Good point, I should hold off on naming my debut album until after I've written some songs. See, that's all you gotta do. Just talk it out with them, they'll figure it out. Oh, I forgot all about this area. Bam! Look at that, a whole fishing area, complete with uh, a cannon. Is it a tiki head, I think? I don't remember. Uh, oh, we get to see Grandpa. Grandpa Dobby in the flesh. Dobby! Dobby! Hey now, bro, Seth. A few of us were starting to wonder where you'd go to. Where you got to. How you been? The way you just disappeared 10 months ago, we figured it was all some kind of hush-hush thing. I know a thing or two about keeping a secret, let me tell you. Like this one time that... Ah. Almost got... Almost had me. Almost had you in the ha for the first half, not gonna lie, Dobby. Alright, that's Kyle's house. We already saw Kyle. There we go. We've been walking this. Look, we got a piano. So you can get those aesthetics going. Beautiful. Proud of myself. Should have given myself a round of applause. Oh, this little cool area. Look, it's another garden. I put uh, one of my favorite fossils, the saber tooth, in there. And kind of built this little walkway uh, with it in mind. You know, that way guests can't run through the flowers like a-holes. To kind of get like a like a grand tour -y vibe with the machine to shoot the feathers out. Lucky's still singing. She's out here lifting weights at almost 7 p.m. We don't have a hospital now, so don't pull nothing. Check out this little spot. So you know it's you know it's early morning, like slash you know maybe even noon at latest. You're about to go shopping. You got to start your day with some galactic coffee. We got a sign that says uh, what we're serving up for the day. Got an ATM so you can drain yourself of all your bells buying new items. But don't fret too much because there's an ice cream shop with an ice cream stand. And when you need to get around, there's a scooter. I'm telling you, we got it. We had it all in mind here. And then, you know, the grand, oh, look at that. Look who we found hiding. Lift and waste. Hey, I know it's out of the blue, but you, you should come visit my place. I'll show you my workout space and some of my stuff. It'll be fun. Sure. What are we waiting for? Well, so much for showing you that entryway. Um, here's Genji's house if you haven't seen it by now. <laughs> Please, come in. Genji's house is a whole vibe though, I'll give him that. He's got the scrolls, he's got the bamboo plants, the vibes. I love your workout tank because I'm also fond of working out, if you couldn't tell. My place is your place, so do whatever makes you comfy. Okay, I'm gonna sit on this bamboo bench. Real sturdy. I see you getting sturdy around here. 
I like these walls. I want one of these. I need to find some of these because and I would use these in real life. But I guess you could say I sleep like a baby. A really muscular baby. Sucker. You must have picked that up from Lolly. Mmm, I can feel the grossness now, just laying in your sweaty bed. Well, thanks for having me over. You revive. Leaving already? You should stay a bit longer, sucker. Dang, I'm stuck here. I'm stuck in his house. I might get murdered. He's probably mad for me being gone for 10 months, and they all left it up to Genji and his freaking murder face to kill me before I can leave. Look, he stopped smiling. Things things are bad. <laughs> things are bad here. Uh, so we're going to end it on that note before I get killed. Thanks for checking out uh, Time Rift here. Um, it's in better condition than what I thought it was. So who knows what I'll post next, but thanks for checking me out. Until then, peace.